Welcome to Adventures in Freeze Drying. This week, I'm going to experiment with all things coffee. We are getting ready to take a trip up into Canada to go fishing this summer. And I like my coffee the way I like my coffee. And I don't want to bring liquid creamer with me. And I'm not sure the best way to get my coffee, just add water ready to go to go to Canada. So we're gonna try a couple different things. One, I did buy some sugar-free Twix coffee creamer. Um, this is my second favorite coffee creamer. So if I can't get my favorite coffee creamer to freeze dry, this isn't bad. I have my favorite, just peppermint mocha, but this is not sugar-free. So I'm going to do, um, just in some ice cube trays, straight up creamer to see if either of these freeze dry well enough to just do that and bring coffee. I'm going to try just a regular cup of coffee with nothing in it. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna put those into some pucks here. So I know how many pucks to grab if I want some coffee. And then I'm going to do one with my favorite creamer in it to see how that freeze dries and reconstitutes. And then I'll do one cup of coffee with the Twix creamer in it to see how that freeze dries and reconstitutes. So stick with me here and we will get all of this going and ready to get in the freeze dryer. So first I'm going to go ahead and put my sugar free into my green mold because my sugar free always has that green band on it. So it'll help me remember which one was sugar free. And I always like using this measuring cup particularly because it pours really well. Um, my other measuring cups don't pour quite as well as this one does. I know if I go to about there, it fills up my ice cube trays. So we're going to go ahead and fill an ice cube tray with this creamer. Now we're going to play with our peppermint mocha creamer and I'm putting that in the pink. It's not red, but it's pink. So that's like the container. My peppermint mocha is all red. So that works for me to help remember what's in my freezer and how it's in my freezer. I am simply going to use the tray stackers. I love these tray stackers from freeze drying supplies. They lock onto the trays. They stay in place. When you have all your trays stacked together, nothing is sliding and moving. They are wonderful. So I have these all locked on. I'm gonna set them aside to get our other trays ready to go. To make sure I get my coffee just how I want it, I have a single cup coffee maker. I'm going to just make my coffee in my mug the same way I normally do. So that's my first step. Now that I have a nice black mug of coffee, I'm going to add, I'm gonna start with my sugar-free creamer to make my sugar-free creamer coffee and we'll get those in the molds after I add the creamer to my taste. As you can see, I like mine with quite a bit of creamer in it. This is no longer black coffee. I'm going to get this into my favorite pouring because we all know how fun it is to pour out of a mug. Get my favorite pouring going on and we'll get those in the mold. While my second cup of coffee was brewing, I played with my molds and my measuring cup and discovered with how I'm filling my molds in, they were each holding about a third cup of coffee which will help me know how much water to add back in um, when I reconstitute this or rehydrate this later on. So I have my second mug of coffee made and this time using my peppermint mocha creamer going into my purple molds. The zero sugar again, kind of in that teal because that makes me think green. I'm going to use my favorite measuring cup for pouring stuff out of and get these molds filled up with my coffee. So I've gone ahead and gotten these filled in. I had just a little bit more coffee in my mug. So this one filled five full. So that would be five thirds cup of coffee. This one's a little shy. So it's gonna be a little shy of five thirds cups of coffee. So one and two thirds cup. I'm going to go ahead and brew a just plain cup of coffee next. My stackers are on here. I'm gonna kind of just tuck this mold underneath them a little bit. Shouldn't hurt the one that I've got coffee in. And then simply put these here and then I'll stack this on top of my creamer trays and get this all in the freezer. One thing I have learned so far with my freeze drying is simply that if you have stuff with sugar in it, getting it frozen solid before you ever think about putting it in your machine helps those things to not explode. So I've got the sugar creamer. I don't want it to explode. 
Everything's being frozen for 24 hours before it goes into my freeze dryer. I'm allowing my coffee and creamers a couple more hours of extra dry time. And I had thrown some jello bites in here too. But this creamer right here, that was the regular creamer that was not sugar free. It did not freeze completely solid in the 24 hours. It was still soft, even though everything else was frozen solid. This was my sugar-free creamer and coffee up here. My regular creamer and coffee down here. So it seems like having that watered down in something else, um, it did not explode. So I might try yet to do 50% water and 50% creamer, so a one-to-one -one ratio and see if that will freeze dry without blowing up and causing a mess I need to clean in my freeze dryer. I will see you when I pull this out and I'm ready to reconstitute. I pulled everything out of my freeze dryer a little bit earlier this morning, but I wasn't ready to make my video yet. So I use these containers that have a gasket up here on the lid and they lock down to keep everything as fresh as possible till I was ready to deal with them. So let's get starting on the rehydration process and see how that goes. Even though this creamer blew up, I did not want to throw it away because it is freeze dried. It's crunchy. Um, this is the full sugar regular coffee mate creamer. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just basically powder this while in this container. And I, the creamer wasn't powdering down quite as nicely as I wanted it to. So I went ahead and used my smoothie blender. And that gave me a nice, super fine powder, much more similar to the store bought creamer that you would buy in powdered form. So we'll give that one a try. My just plain coffee was super fragile coming off of the freeze drying tray and it broke down really fast. Um, so we'll try this and I think I'm going to add some of my sugar-free coffee creamer cubes to it when I make it. These are super fragile and were falling apart very easily as I tried to remove them from the tray. I lost a couple to the explosion of my sugared creamer, my regular creamer, um, but they're holding their shape okay. So I think if you had these package, packaged properly in something like this, if you were to go camping or like our trip up to Canada, um, they would probably hold their shape okay. Just I wouldn't put them in mylar and expect them to stay in a cube for you. The coffee that was made with regular coffee and the regular creamer, not sugar-free creamer, kind of has a rough texture to it. It stuck really bad to my trays, so I would recommend putting parchment underneath those pucks before you freeze dry them. But it was very easy for me to tell the difference between the sugar-free and the regular because the sugar-free had a much different texture um, than the full sugar creamer. So we will go ahead and get all of this rehydrated and reconstituted, see what we think of it. I didn't pre-measure anything out. I know how full I normally make my cups of coffee. I'm only going to go about half as full to begin with, just to be on the safe side, having never done this before. That creamer just melted right away, so that was kind of cool. I was thinking I might need four cubes of creamer to be at what I normally put in a cup of coffee, so I'll go ahead and add two more cubes of creamer to that to get this where I like my creamer at. And just notice how it instantly dissolves. This is the sugar-free creamer, and it's just dissolving on impact. That's pretty cool. That was definitely instant rehydrating. So I've added a little bit of cold water. This still isn't as much as I normally put in a coffee mug, but I wanna see how strong this is before I add any more water. And I would say that is about the right strength for my coffee. This doesn't look the same with that creamer having been freeze dried, but it tastes about perfect. So it didn't reconstitute or rehydrate to the same level, I didn't need as much water to rehydrate it to get the full flavor. But if I was camping, or when I'm up in Canada, that would be fantastic. It's close enough to what I make at home. I don't think this is a loose situation at all, so let's try going with the coffee that's already um, had the creamer added to it before it was freeze dried. 
So I decided to switch flavors because the sugar-free creamer was not the same flavor as my peppermint mocha creamer that was full sugar, regular creamer, not sugar-free. I've not broken down my pucks that I made in freeze-dried. Let's see what happens here. Again, I'm not going to add quite as much water in case the same issue happens. I would say this looks has more of the same look as when my coffee is freshly made. It looks creamier. This might be a little strong because it's short on water, but let's give this a taste and see how it measures up to a fresh cup of coffee. I definitely taste the creamer in the coffee. This is definitely still a little bit strong. I'm gonna add a little more water to it. I filled this up to being about the same as when I first make a cup of coffee. I need to let that sit a minute because it's gotten really hot. So give me a second, we'll let this cool and we'll try it again. This has had a couple of minutes to cool off. That tastes like I just made it. So I would say um, freeze drying the coffee. If it's just how you want it and you're not making it for anybody else, make your cup of coffee and freeze dry it just the way you made it. That is perfect. Um, so it may not work if you're trying to make coffee for a bunch of people and you don't know how they want their coffee, but if it's just you, this was really good. The sugar-free creamer, again, doesn't look quite as creamy as just the regular creamer did. Um, the flavor's been spot on. It just looks a little different when you rehydrate. And this still tastes plenty strong. Again, I made this a little short on water. And it definitely needs a little more water. So I'm gonna add some water and we'll try it again. So I added some water to bring this about to that same level as when I make a cup of coffee. And that's spot on, taste is good. While the rest of the coffee brews, let's try adding regular creamer to my coffee that I freeze dried and powdered for myself. I'm going to put just shy of two teaspoons in here since it's only about half a cup of coffee. That stirred in beautifully, absolutely just dissolved as it hit the coffee. Yeah, that works. So I would not hesitate to just bring your creamer. If the coffee doesn't bother you, you just don't want to deal with the cooler, you can freeze dry your creamer and bring your creamer along. Again, this is just about a half cup of coffee. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming this will just dissolve like it did with my other coffee. Just dissolves right away. No problem. We're going to add three cubes to this half cup of coffee. There's no reason you couldn't powder this as well. If you wanted some single serve coffee, you could also um, just put as many as you would want in some baggies in your Mylar, and then if they got busted up, it wouldn't be a big deal. Let's see how this tastes. Again, you would not know that you had freeze dried this and added freeze dried creamer to your coffee. Doesn't surprise me because you can buy powdered creamers, um, so it should work just fine. Um, definitely another way to get your coffee or how you want your coffee with you on hiking trips. So even though I did have a small explosion in my freeze dryer, I would say any of the ways I tried coffee are a win. You may want to try watering your creamer down if you just want creamer and you don't buy sugar free. I would try a potentially a one to one ratio. Um, before you freeze dry it, that way it doesn't explode or explode so much. It's still powdered just fine, so it may not be pretty like my sugar-free in its cubes, but it definitely powdered fine and works fine in your coffee. Definitely worked to make that coffee with your creamer in it and freeze dry it. That was a huge win in my book because your coffee is just ready to go. Um, if you want it to be exact measurements, you could probably figure that out by measuring your cup of coffee before you freeze dry it to know how much water to add back. Um, but anyways, 
You can freeze dry your coffee. It comes back wonderful. This is a win for any time you want easy coffee and you don't want to bring the coffee maker with you. We'll see you next time on Adventures in Freeze Drying.